the race one here, the round of Europe at Mantua, the third in this trilogy of races. Tom Guyon thought he grabbed the whole shot, but it was actually Marcel Conin, the number 32. Alongside him was Mattia Guadagnini. Guyon was in third. Talvika was in fourth. Emil Weckman right there as well, and so too Pierre Goupillon. Well, thought about going down the inside, didn't he, on the first lap, but thought better of it, and then missed a gear, Guadagnini, but eventually, a couple of laps later, he got his opportunity, made that pass on Conin to take over the lead. Championship leader Thibaut Beniston was having a nightmare, but a little bit further just behind the leaders. Huck and Fredrickson made that move on Tom Guyon to move into fourth place. Still had some work to do, but managed to get it done. This was Beniston on Lugana. That was for 12th. He eventually got himself back up to 8th, did the championship leader. Camden McClellan made a mistake in the latter stages of the race, but he survived to finish in 12th place. Kaida Wolf up and down. Every time he found his way past somebody, this was Axel Louis that he found his way past. He'd advance a couple of positions. The Rockstar Energy Husqvarna rider would then fall a couple of positions. So, in the end, 14th. Sorry, 16th for the number 14. This was uh, Talviku, Conin and Harkin Fredrickson. This was second, third and fourth at one stage. Fredrickson then capitalised on a mistake from the 2-6-1 of Talviku. Conin also went through. Talviku was in fourth. And then, last lap, Fredrickson lost six seconds, picked himself up, lost second place to Conin and third to Talviku, but then he hit the brakes, shot up the inside, regained third place, and even went after Conan at the finish. But it was Guadagnini who was victorious by 18 seconds over Conan and Fredrickson. Talviku and Guyon rounded out the top five. The gate dropped for EMX 250 race two. The usual carnage going on in and around the first couple of corners. Beniston held a nice tight line and emerged behind Kaida Wolf, but it was Talviku who grabbed the early advantage. That's probably why Fredrickson got a bit of a knock to the leg, because he was hit by Oriol Oliver. But fourth place, Guadagnini lost out to Beniston as he spun up, but then guess what? He reacted immediately and forced his way down the inside of Beniston to take over that fourth place. Then Lorenzo Lucuccio fell. Facchetti took over second, Lucuccio was there, uh, sorry, uh, Guadagnini then went through in third. And then, Facchetti fell, handing third to his teammate. Lucuccio was right there in the background. Pierre Goupillon fell and would not rejoin the race. Facchetti then got caught by a hard-charging uh, Fredrickson. Then Guadagnini took over the lead with that pass. On Talviku, Beniston fell through quickly. There was a slight bobble here, probably neutral. And Lorenzo Lucorcio challenged third on Talviku, ran out of room though there at that moment, but he did eventually find his way through into turn four a couple of laps later. At that stage, it was Guadagnini, Beniston, Lucorcio and Talviku, and that's how it finished with Fredrickson in fifth. But it was uh, win number two of the day for Guadagnini. He went on to take the overall as well, his fourth consecutive race win here in Mantova. And he's closed down the championship lead to 28 points as he closes in on that guy there. Still holds the red plate, Thibaut Beniston. Next stop, Spain, round eight. Mattia Guadagnini, a uh, much easier first race for you. You had to work harder in that second race. Some aggressive riding as well when you were passing uh, Beniston there. But you've you've gained some really good championship points today. Yeah, yeah. The second race was for sure more difficult. I started a little bit uh, in the back, and uh, yeah, I made also one mistake. And from five, from fifth, I come back to first. Uh, it was hard, but uh, yeah, I, I want to give 100%. Uh, I still believe in, in the championship. So uh, yeah, some good points, and I want to thank everybody, my team, my sponsor, and my family, and everybody support me. And see you next week. Great job, Andrea. Thank you.